Hello, Lisa Willis. Welcome to my podcast. You will not be able to hear me when I'm singing because I don't have a mic, but this is just a test, okay? <laughs> so I'm going to play No Game, and then I'm going to play What Am I Doing Wrong, and then I'm going to do my commentary on what I think about Kamala Harris running for president. Okay, let's go.
Okay, now, what am I doing wrong? A question I ask myself every day. <laughs> what am I doing wrong?
answering, why should we be voting for Kamala Harris? I, I kind of, I'm going to stand because it's a long story, but it helps my injury to stand. Uh, so <laughs> it's, I'm weird, why should my injury be weird? Okay, listen, I'm a liberal, everybody knows that, I'm very leftist liberal, and, you know, Kamala and Biden have issues with, with you know, their, their um, justice system history. And a lot of liberals have an issue with that. But I would say it's important for us to forget about that now for, uh, for a variety of reasons. N number one, I, I kind of have, um, I'm a little, I have a little conflicted now on, 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 on the whole crime thing because you know I was attacked I, I, the reason that I, I'm disabled is because I was attacked and so and so because of that you know I'm a little more into crime fighting than maybe I would have been in the past but 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 I still I'm still on the subject of profiling so it's like I'm getting the worst of both ends and so it's hard for people from my position to support someone like Tom Harris because of the history of prosecuting people and the kind of unfair way in which a lot of that is done. Even though I have a squeaky clean record, I do not have empathy for people who have been in that situation. So for those of us who are liberal, who are leftist liberal, we kind of have to swallow our whatever and don't be stupid and, and understand this is important. And, and, and quite frankly, you know, it's not that, that I am against Biden, but I was just certain he was going to lose, and I was terrified about that. And 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 now there is an energy. I was just watching the news. Eighty-one million dollars last time I checked, uh, raised since dropped out for Kamala Harris. So the the, the energy is there. She, now she's going to have some other issue, and the other issue is Palestine. Quite frankly, you know, this is a generational thing. A, a lot of a lot of um, even though even though I'm you know, never mind if my age, you don't need to know my age. But <laughs> if you don't know by now, then you don't need to know. But but I don't think in the same way that most people of my generation do. And so I, I am much more sympathetic on, on, the, on the Palestinian side here because I got to be honest with you, it seems like we've watched the genocide and, and I'm very uncomfortable with it. You know, and, 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 it, and the silence is, is very uncomfortable. And, and, and so that makes it difficult. You know, it's not that she's not going to have issues. She's going to have issues. But when you look at the alternative, <laughs> I mean, there's, there's really nothing else to be said about this man that has already been said. And so it, it's it's kind of, um, I don't want to get into it, really. I, th I think it's very important that we win this election. And, and I think that, that, that uh, let's, take, let's take a look at some Kamala Harris's uh, Pluses. Now, I just saw in the news, somebody said something about, about, uh, she has to show more that she's a commander. That's kind of ridiculous. You know, that's, that's probably a sexist statement. You know, you know, you, you know how you know she's a commander? Because she's in charge. <laughs> if, she, if she's in the old office and she tells you to do something and you don't do it, you're going to get fired. And if you haven't figured out by then she's in charge, I guess you'll never figure it out. The woman is vice president. She, she was attorney general of, of, of one of the biggest states in the country. It's, it's a ludicrous statement on his part. Um, and it's clearly sexist. You know, you know, I think that this is, this is a person who I have my qualms about some of the prosecution decisions, just like I have fought with that crime bill that, that Joe Biden wrote when he was in the Senate. I have issues with those things. But let's understand the difficulty of running a massively large office like the state attorney general's office of one of the biggest states in the country. <laughs> and you have to deal with cybercrime, and you have to deal with violent crime, and you have to deal with, with all kinds of various, all kinds of issues, some things that I probably am not even smart enough to, to mention. And, and she ran that office, okay? <laughs> and, and, and she was a United States Senator. She has been Vice President for four years. 
So, so the notion that she is not qualified is ridiculous. What she does is she energizes the Democratic Party, particularly young voters, because young voters were like, eh, you know, uh, guess we're gonna have to vote for that dude, right? And now they're energized and, and they're into it, and you can you can already see it happening. I can kind of feel it, you know. I'm, I'm you know, I'm romantic. I remember I was I was an Obama State delegate. This was when I lived in Reno. I was in Nevada. I was an Obama State delegate in Nevada in 2008. I remember those times. I remember the the romanticism of it, the excitement of it, you know. And I'm kind of feeling that again. I think it's I think it's an important thing for the for the country and for and for us, particularly as liberals. So I'm going to close by playing, um, what am I going to play? I'm probably going to play, uh, you know, I'm going to play what am I doing wrong again? Because I've, I, I've been playing this song a lot lately, I like it. So this is the, <laughs> this is the end of the podcast. I'm playing out the end of the podcast. With, when I have my shit together, there'll be like credits and all that stuff. But right now, I'm just playing out. And then when you see me go like that, that's when it's... <laughs> that's when it's into the podcast.
enjoyed my podcast if you booted and i'll see you soon bye bye